Hey YouTube fam, what's up? It's Patrick. I hope you're having an amazing day. Welcome to my Yoga for Strength series. In this series, we are going to focus on creating mindful, full body strength throughout your entire being. Each session will be a full yoga practice, of course, although we'll have a different focus in each practice. Today's focus is going to be on the shoulders. This is a great series to build the foundation of your yoga practice off of, a great way to get more involved in the awakening yoga system, and a nice way to really create a deeper connection to your mind, your body, and your spirit. For today's session, as usual, all you will need is yourself and your practice space. When you're ready, let's begin in child's pose. Go ahead and let your hips nestle back towards your heels. Let your knees spread slightly apart. Push your palms down into the floor as you lean your collarbones out. Finding breath, finding a sense of calm, a sense of ease, a sense of steadiness. Take this first beginning moment to really start to center. On your next inhale, pull forward to hands and knees. As you get there, circle your shoulders over the wrists a few times. A few clockwise circles, a few counterclockwise circles, and then allow your body to get organic. Roll through the spine, wiggle around just a little bit. Notice your capacity for the breath. Find the lean, feel the shifts. Then go ahead and come to center. Tuck the toes, lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog. As you get there, first dog of the day, instead of doing your normal thing, immediately take your feet wide so only your big toes are on the mat. Bend your knees and then really pull your hips up and away. So you're pulling length into your spine. You're opening through the shoulders, creating a bit of a stretch there. Push through the hands. Feel the shoulders elevating towards your ears just slightly. Keep seeking length in the spine, which is only going to help you get longer through your hamstrings. Slowly bring your feet back to their normal position, normal orientation. Nice job. Go ahead and pedal out the feet a little bit. See what that feels like. Hopefully a little bit different than maybe it normally would. And then walk your hands all the way back to your feet. Bend your knees and opposite hand, catch opposite elbow, softly sway side to side. And go ahead and find your center. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise or vastasana. Arms reach up to sky. Fingertips touch. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach your hands all the way up, get long and tall. Exhale, fold all the way down. Crawl your hands back out. Downward facing dog. As you get here, inhale, roll your body forwards in the plank pose. And exhale, push back into dog. Inhale, roll your body forwards in the plank pose. Exhale, push back into dog. Inhale, roll your body forwards in the plank pose. Hold this plank position. Push into the right hand and then move to side plank on your right hand. Drive through your right thumb just a little bit more. Lift through your right hip as much as you can. Feel this stacking energy here, waking up your right shoulder. And then return to center. And switch your side naturally. Drive into the left thumb. Stack the hips. Reach your right arm up towards the sky. Or have your right hand by your hip. It doesn't matter as long as you push into your left hand. And try to keep your left shoulder forward. When you lift the hips, it's natural to want to pull your left shoulder away. See if you can keep the left shoulder stacked on top of the left wrist as much as possible. Bring your right hand back to the floor. Find a plank pose, and then push 
your hips up and back downward facing dog. As you make it back to downward facing dog, rise onto the toes, slowly lower your knees to the floor, stretching through your toes. As the knees land, sit back towards your heels. Interlace hands at heart center, deep inhale. Exhale, push your hands forward, round into your upper back body. Inhale, reach your hands up to the sky. Exhale, round down. Inhale, reach your hands up. And exhale, round down. Inhale, reach your hands up. Exhale, round down. Inhale, reach your hands up. Exhale, round down. Inhale, reach your hands up. Look up, get a little bit longer. Exhale, release, pull elbows down towards hips. Really squeeze your shoulder blades onto your back body, lifting through your chest. Exhale, release. Come off the toes. Tap the feet a few times if you need to there. And then sit back to your heels. Set your hands up as you would for flying integration, which if you don't know, it's a lalasana preparation position. We'll place our hands to the outsides of the knees. You'll push your hands and your feet into the floor. You want to keep your hips low to the ground, but drive your knees up towards the smile of your collarbones. So go ahead and drive your hands down. Take an inhale here. On your exhale, push, lift, in. Hold it. We'll be here for 15. Lean forward, 14. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Release. As you finish there, roll shoulders onto back body. Bring fingertips behind toes. Drive your shins down. Bridge your hips up. Taking your shins through the floor, opening through your front body, and release. Bring your hands up to the top of the mat. Step back downward, facing dog. As you make it back into your downward facing dog, inhale, lift your right leg up to the sky. On your exhale, bring your right knee up to touch your right tricep. Hold right there. Option to rise onto your left fingertips. Option to maybe even reach your left hand forward. If the left hand reaches forward, make sure the hips don't go back. Try to keep pushing your right knee towards the right tricep or towards the top of the mat, however that makes most sense to you. Let your left hand come to the floor, roll to the outer edge of the left foot. Reach your right hand up to the sky, see if you can keep your right leg lifted. Push down even more into the left arm. Look towards the top of the mat, step your right foot there as gracefully as possible. Your left knee lowers to the floor. Inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky. Try to get as long and as tall as possible in Anjane Asana here. Exhale, hands to the floor. Left knee lifts. Right leg straightens as you fold over your right chin. Bend your right knee, pull the body forward. Crawl your hands out as far as you can. Really try to move into your lowest lunge position here. Creating some flexibility. Staying active in your legs. Breathing new life and new space into your body. Crawl your hands back underneath your shoulders. Push into your left hand. Return to side plank on your left hand. Pick your right foot up off the ground if possible. If you're looking for more there, have your right big toe tap the ground behind your left knee. Pick your right foot up off the ground. Bring your right hand back to the floor. Right knee lands on right tricep where it started. Rise onto left fingertips. Option to reach your left hand out in front of you. See what that feels like. Fight for the moment. Be in your balance. Left hand to floor. Step back downward. Facing dog. As you get there, take an inhale. On your exhale, drop your forearms to the floor. Dolphin pose. Walk your feet up a little bit closer towards your elbows. Pushing your thumbs into the earth. Lift your hips a little bit higher. Feel the space you've created in your shoulders. And then apply stability to it by pushing 
your forearms into the earth. Feel a calm consistency in your breath. And then push into your hands. Lift your elbows off the ground, returning to downward facing dog. As you make it back into your dog, inhale, roll forward into plank pose. From your plank pose, it's a vinyasa. Find your way back into downward facing dog. As you get there, inhale, stretch and lift your left leg up to the sky. On your exhale, left knee. Hunts your left tricep. Hold right there. This could be plenty. Option to rise on the right fingertips. Option even e reach the right hand forward. Same work as the first side. Really feel the pushing down. Flirt with the instability of the shape. Keep your left shoulder over your left wrist. Try to not lift your hips back. Right hand to floor. Side plank. Roll to the outer edge of the right foot. Try to keep your left leg lifted. If your right knee needs to go to the floor, by all means, let it. Work through the space that feels strong and available to you. Step your left foot gracefully up to the top of the mat. Drop your right knee down. Inhale, reach your hands up to the sky. Anjaneyasana. Notice how long you can get here. Breathe just below your chest. Breathe near your upper abdomen. Feel an expansiveness there. Exhale. Hands to the floor. Right knee lifts, left leg straightens as you fold. Over your left shin. Lean your skull out. Bend your left knee. Crawl your hands forward. Behind that deep low lunge position, really work through your right foot here. Work through your right foot. Notice the depth you're creating. Notice how you can reach your chest out just a little bit more. Crawl your hands back underneath your shoulders. Plant your right hand down into the ground. Side plank on your right hand. Maybe you use the left hand to assist you. Maybe you don't. From side plank on the right hand, the option is step. Your left foot over and behind. Your right knee rotating, even bridging your hips up towards the sky. Lift your left knee into your chest. Land your left hand on the floor. Left knee hunts left tricep. Let it land. Option to float your right hand off the ground. Remember, push your body forward as you make the movement occur. Holding yourself here. Finding your stability. Right hand to floor. Step back downward. Facing dog. As you make it back to dog, drop your forearms to the floor. Dolphin pose. Shorten your stance a little bit. Really try to load the shoulder. Push your forearms into the earth. Find a calm steadiness here. In the drive, in your energy. Return to your downward facing dock. Inhale, wave your body forwards into plank pose. From plank pose, move through your vinyasa. And downward facing dog becomes yours. As you make it back into downward facing dog, we get ready to repeat the process. Inhale, your right leg lifts. Exhale, right knee drives up to right tricep. Hop onto left fingertip. Or reach left hand forward. Of course, you can keep the left hand down if that's what suits you best. Be an explorer of the space that's uniquely your own. Left hand finds the floor. Side plank. 
on your left hand. Play any game you want with your right leg. Step your right foot gracefully to the top of the mat. Use an exhale to make it happen. Drop your left knee down. Inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. Try to push your left hip forward. Notice where you can get longer, where you can elevate. Exhale. Hands to floor, left knee lifts, right leg straightens as you fold over your right shin. Lean your body out a bit. Bend your right knee. Crawl your hands forward, keeping your left knee lifted. Really snuggle down deeper into this low position. And bring your hands back underneath your shoulders. Push into your left hand, side plank. Any way you want to take it there on the left hand. And explore the options that resonate with you. No matter what, really try to push through the left thumb as much as possible. And then find your way back to plank pose with right knee on right tricep. Let it connect, holding their option to reach your left hand forward. Big available breath, left hand lands, right foot steps back, downward facing dog. As you get there, drop your forearms to the floor, dolphin pose. Walk your feet up a little bit closer, really anchor your forearms down into the ground. Hold yourself here steady, calm, connected. Even though it's tough, I know it's not easy, but you're doing amazing. Return to dolphin, or downward facing dog, excuse me, from dolphin. Inhale, roll forwards into your plank pose. From plank pose, move right through your vinyasa. From downward facing dog, inhale, stretch and lift your left leg up to the sky. On your exhale, left knee targets your left tricep. Hold, option to float the right hand in any capacity. Try to keep your body forwards. Stay engaged, stay connected, rooted and lifted. Right hand to floor, side plank, any way you want to take it. Any way you want to take it. Move through. Open through your right shoulder. Maybe you push your left big toe towards the sky. Whatever feels good. Whatever feels interesting. Either way, step your left foot to the top of the mat with grace. Drop your right knee down. Anjane Asana. Open your front body. Reach through your fingers. Feel the lift. Again, breathe near your upper abdomen. Breathe below your chest. Notice that helps you open space. Exhale, hands to the floor. Right knee lifts, left leg straightens as you fold over your left shin. Any capacity, any level of straight. Bend your left knee. Crawl your hands as far forward as you would like to. Keep your right knee lifted. Keep your right leg charged up. Like feel a good energy flowing through your right leg. So not only are you lifting the space behind your knee, but there's a push towards that action. It's not subliminal. It's not low effort. There's a real conscious connection there. Crawl your hands back underneath your shoulders. Plant into your right hand. Side plank any way you want to take it on the right hand. 
Maybe left big toe taps the floor if it does roll your chest open and through. Left hand returns to the floor. Left knee finds left tricep last time here. Reach your right hand anywhere you want. Maybe that's pushing your right hand into the floor. You always have options. Right hand to ground. Step back. Downward facing dog. From downward facing dog, we find a dolphin pose. Let your forearms drop to the earth. Sit down and into it just a little bit more. Try to shorten that stance a little bit. Feel the drive. So not only are you feeling strong in your shoulders, but you're also starting to feel a lot more space. A lot more freedom, which is so nice in a practice like this one. Return to downward facing dog. Inhale, wave your body forwards into plank pose. And exhale, vinyasa is yours. As you find your downward facing dog, inhale your right leg lifts up to the sky. On your exhale, right knee targets left tricep this time, coming across body, fallen triangle. Push your left heel down as the right foot reaches to the left side, open through your right side body. All right, from here, see if you can lift the right foot up off the ground. Bring your right knee to touch your right tricep, left hand to floor, three-legged dog. Right leg lifts. Push into your left hand firmly. Float your right hand up off the ground. Side plank on your left hand, keeping your right foot floating. Flirt with that balance challenge. Pull your right knee into the chest. Step your right foot all the way to the top of the mat, double bent leg lunge. You rise up. Exhale, drive to straighten through your left leg. Inhale, hands the heart center. Let them pull you forward, crouching warrior. Exhale, straighten through your right leg. Inhale, step your left foot to starting position. Bring thumbs to base of skull. Look up. Inhale, reach your hands somewhere and you get long. Exhale, hands to the floor. Three-legged dog. Bend your elbows, bend your left knee. Inhale, pull your body into upward facing dog. Exhale, push your hips up and back downward, facing dog. Inhale, your left leg lifts. On your exhale, left knee targets right tricep. Fallen triangle, come across body. Let the outer edge of the left foot land. Push through your right foot. Push through your left foot. Push through your left hand. Feel your left shoulder coming to life here. Try this. See if you can float the left foot off the ground. Bring your left knee to touch your left tricep. Right hand returns to the floor. Three-legged dog. Keep reaching through the left foot as you get there. Rise on the left fingertips. Maybe even reach left hand all the way up by your left hip. The next transition is to side plank pose on the right hand. Try to make it happen. Pull your left knee into the chest. Look towards the top of the mat. Step your left foot all the way there. Inhale, rise. Double bent leg lunge. Exhale, push to straighten through your right leg. Inhale, hands to heart center. Pull your body forward. Crouching warrior. Exhale, drive to straighten through your left leg. Bend your left knee. Right foot steps to starting position. Thumbs base of skull. Inhale, reach your hands somewhere and you get long. Get tall, find opening. Exhale. Hands to the floor, three-legged dog. Your left leg lifts. Inhale, pull your body through. Upward facing dog, you open space. Exhale, cruise all the way back, downward facing dog. Inhale, your right leg lifts. On your exhale, right knee over to left tricep. Fallen triangle, option to keep the right leg floating the whole time. See what that feels like. You can let it land, of course. The right foot can always land, but try to float. See what happens. Maybe try to lift it up higher. Right knee finds right tricep wherever you are. 
three-legged dog. As your left hand lengths, right leg lifts. Get lighter on the right hand, maybe even float it completely. Side plank on your left hand, bringing your body forward. Pull your right knee into your chest. Look towards the top of the mat. Lightly step your right foot all the way there. Inhale, rise. And double bent leg lunge. Exhale, push to straighten through your left leg. Inhale, hands pull forward as you lean out to crouching warrior. Exhale, straighten through your right leg. Bend your right knee, left foot steps to back of mat. Thumbs to base of skull, look up. Inhale, reach your hands up and away. Exhale, hands to floor, three-legged dog. Inhale, pull your body through, upward facing dog. Exhale, wave on back, downward facing dog. This is the last side, last round, stick with it. Your left leg elevates. Left knee targets right tricep as you come across body. Fallen triangle, option to keep your left foot floating. Working through your left shoulder. Wherever you are, left knee finds left tricep. Right hand returns to the floor. Three-legged dog. Get lighter on your left hand, maybe lift it completely. Roll forward, side plank on the right hand. Push through the outer edge of the right foot. Pull your left knee into your chest. Gracefully step your left foot all the way forward. Double bent leg lunge. You lift. Exhale, straighten through your right leg, pushing your right hip forward. Hands to heart center. Pull your body out. Crouching warrior. Exhale, straighten through your left leg. Flirt with your balance. Bend your left knee. Step your right foot to the back of the mat. Thumbs. Base of skull. Look up. Inhale. Reach your hands somewhere new. Exhale. Hands to floor. Three-legged dog. Your left leg lifts. Inhale. Pull your body through. Upward facing dog. Exhale. Wave. On back, downward, facing dog. Beautiful effort. Step your feet up a little bit closer and then sit your hips down. Passive squat. Find a little bit of length in your spine. Allow your heart to elevate. Find a steadiness in your breath. Plant your hands on the floor, crow or crane, bakasan or kakasan. Work through bent arms if that's where you feel comfortable. Try straight arms if that's where you maybe want to explore today. When you finish, take a moment, any position for a rest, to recalibrate, reconnect with your breath. So much going on in this session. So much strength, so much intensity, so much focus. Before we take our closing stretches, Give yourself the opportunity here for ease. Find your way onto your belly. Reach your left arm out to the left side. And drop your left ear to the floor, and then let your right foot reach towards your left hand as you roll onto your left hip. Bring a little bit of length into your spine.
Go ahead and return to center. Switch your side. Take your time on the setup process. Really try to make sure that your right arm is straight. You can feel a little pressure of your right hand into the floor. And it allows you to reach with your left foot. The subtle pressure of the right hand down not only helps you organize the body a little bit more here, it allows you to keep your right shoulder on your back body, then reach through your left foot, opening through your left hip. Return to center. As you make it there, roll onto your back. Set your feet as you would for a soft bridge pose. Drive your heels down into the floor. Open through your front body. Doesn't need to be anything major. Set your hips down, reclined pigeon pose, take the right ankle above your left knee, pull your left leg in towards your chest. Nice easy stretch. Release and switch your side. Let your breath soften. Last two breaths here, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Unwind yourself, move into your closing position. Maybe that's straight leg Shavasana, Supta Baddha Kanasana, maybe feet wide, knees drop middle, maybe even a seat. Wherever the moment takes you, nourish yourself in that space. Find a calm quality to your breath. A simple ease to your being. A steady presence to your energy. During our practice, we're often the explorer. Sometimes the transition or pose can be so intense that we're in that moment, we're in that element of focus. But as we shift towards a softer space, we can become the witness. And over time, the goal in the practice, and, or one of the many goals of the practice, is to always be able to flow freely between the explorer and the witness. So you can play both roles. Be tuned into your own human experience as much as possible. Nourish yourself here for as long as you need to. It's always such a pleasure to share space with you here on the channel. Thank you for sticking with day one of yoga for strength in your whole body, your whole being. If you enjoyed the session, like the video, and I look forward to practicing with you tomorrow for day two.
too. Leave a comment, let me know how this one went for you. And of course, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, come be part of the vibe. Look forward to sharing space with you soon. Have an amazing rest of your day. Peace.